That's what's up. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Clown Live. This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience brought to you by Shopping Dragons. What up, though? <coughs> Yo, just did a little day of organizing on the PC before I went live today. It's just kind of like a really low-key day. Mima is off at work right now, and uh, she's going to come back later tonight when her shift is over. And then she's got like a whole week off and she's taken off to her family's house for uh, like a whole six or seven days she's going to be gone. So I'm looking forward to uh, hearing that she's going to have a good time with her family doing Christmas. I think I'm going to kind of be like floating around the house and uh, doing Amazon streams. So look, look at my TV. Are you tracking? Oh, you are tracking. That's okay. Look, look at the TV. We got the Amazon live stream on, on the fire stick. But look, my chat is only this big. And uh, if you know how to zoom, if you know how to zoom out on a on a web page, on the browser, let me know. Let me know. I don't know how. Uh, there's not a lot of controls on the remote to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But we got the we got the show here. We got the show. Uh, let's full screen it. Maybe that'll help if we full screen it. Actually. Oh, it totally does. How great is that? Look, we got the chat here now. There's no way that I'm going to be missing the chat today, I hope. I hope. <clears throat> Excuse me. How's everybody doing? Yo, I see that uh, Shay Lewis is in the chat. What up, Shay? What up, Randy? I heard you won $3 today. Congratulations. I was a little occupied getting the show ready today. Rover's back. What's up? Good to see you. Don't get banned today. Hello, Ed S. Welcome. Thank you for joining me here on another episode of Clown Live. You know, you guys are familiar in the uh, show here in the chat, but did you know that we're doing daily live streams now? Uh, on We're going to do daily clown live streams. Every day here on Shopping Dragons, we're going to be presenting you Clown Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's super great. Uh, this thing's always tracking. We're trying to do these keyboard shortcuts today. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we're going live every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from here until that time changes. I'm going to see if I can scoop up some uh, some streams on the weekend, maybe. I don't know. You guys are going to be doing Christmas stuff, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what my plan is for the weekend, but every weekday coming at you, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, me. That's right. Your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like, but today we got a whole bunch of products. I'm not sure... Oh, we're going to feature some new products. I got some new stuff I haven't shown before on the show. And I got a new wireless microphone, but uh, I don't have AA batteries in the house. We got to get some batteries. 
<laughs> everything just seems to have like a built-in battery that USB-C charges nowadays. So we didn't get uh, AA batteries for the new wireless mic, but I will. And then we'll check it out. But for now, we got the old reliable Yeti down here. Uh, and we set it off center today. So let me know if you only hear me coming out of your left speaker or your right speaker uh, or if it sounds like a stereo mix. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I see Evans in the chat. Let me hit down here. Uh, I see Evans in the chat. I see Becky 1970. Becky, is there two users? Do you have two usernames if you don't if you don't mind me asking? Because I saw a Becky O 1970 and I thought that it was you. But now today I see Becky 1970 in the chat. So uh, I don't know. Just a little confused there. Evans, what's up? Uh, Boss and Butterfly in the chat. What's up? I hope that you're doing very well as well as everybody else in the chat. Like I was just saying, we got some new products to talk about today. <clears throat> and I got some water that I got to drink. Uh, yeah, we got chat in multiple places. I actually don't have chat on my second monitor because I have it back here. So, oh, you, you did take off the O? Cool, cool. Okay. Um, Evans, I did get the oil for the hummus, but I just didn't put the blender in the carousel. But when the blender comes up through the carousel again, we're going to make the hummus. I, I want to do it. I know that I've kind of been like teasing, leading on about hummus, but <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I am going to do it. I want you to know that, okay? Uh, the O was confusing people. Uh, one user, that's me. Yeah, the O, uh, nobody like. well, I can't say nobody likes the big O, but Alyssa, what's up? How are you doing? I'm glad that you came in and interrupted my thought process there. Uh, Rover, um, got you, got you corrected, Becky. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, let's start talking about, well, let's talk about giveaways and stuff before we uh, go on. <clears throat> let's talk about the giveaways that we got promoting currently uh, right now today here on Clown Live, an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons, right? We're going to do a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway uh, today, like near the end of the show. We got Rover in the chat today, and uh, he's kind of been playing uh, the, the, the great role of house moderator, and he's been conducting roll calls for us. So Provided that he doesn't get banned again today, like he did on yesterday's show, uh, we're going to let Rover run the roll call and uh, and handle all that. And then at the end of the show, when the time is right, we're going to do a clown race and we're going to pick a $5 winner. If you're new here, you definitely have to be following us here on Amazon Live in order to win. So hit that follow button It's somewhere, find it. And also, um, you have to go to this website, okay? Scrolling at the bottom of the screen, it's going to be shoppingdragons.com slash win, okay? Go there, enter your information, uh, follow our social media accounts to gain more entries into the draw. And then when the time is right, um, uh, well, hold on, hold on. I want to be very clear. I want to be very clear about entries. Please go to the form and fill it out. You only need one entry on that form to participate, okay? And that's your email address. You don't have to do the other things. We need you. We want you to follow on Amazon. But uh, what I want to be clear about is that you do not, you don't gain more entries by doing multiple things uh, for the Shopping Dragons form, okay? Uh, you get one entry when we do the roll call. And then we put that name in a list. And then we run that list through the clown race, okay? I just misspoke there, and I want it to be extremely clear. You don't gain multiple entries, uh, but we do appreciate you filling out the form. And repetitively, we only need your email address in case you win. As I don't issue the card, we'll have Justin uh, issue that $5 gift card for you. Boom, that's the $5 gift card giveaway. Also, uh, Shopping Dragons, uh, I mean, uh, Dragon Blogger is doing... Uh, a Steam Deck giveaway. And that is at uh, the Dragon Blogger website under their giveaway section. They got so many giveaways going on there. It's hard to remember all of them. But I know that the Steam Deck is popping off right now. And it's going on for a couple more weeks, I believe. So go get entered into that. And there's definitely uh, multiple entries available on that form, okay? Even if it's only through the process of uh, referrals, you can still get extra entries every day that you refer somebody. There might be a daily entry. I'll be honest, I didn't go over to the uh, to the uh, st uh, stream deck. Uh, excuse me, Steam Deck. I didn't go over to the Steam Deck form and look. Okay, 
Uh, Fernando Camo started following. Thank you, Fernando, so much for following. Don't forget to go to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter for a chance to win a $5 Amazon gift card here on this show today. And I don't know, like around two hours, maybe two and a half hours. We're going to talk about all our products first. And then uh, I got three product pages at the end of the show today. And uh, everything else is physical products to talk about. So with all of that in order, let me say what up, Alan DeBay. Thank you for coming and following or re-following. Appreciate it. Jennifer Lude, how are you? I am doing very well. I hope that you can say the same about yourself today. Uh, okay, Alan, following for a while. Okay, thanks for the re-follow, Alan. I appreciate it. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, great. So um, perfect. Everybody's greeting everybody in the chat. Let's drink some water. <clears throat> Keep our vocal pipes. Uh, um, uh, lubed up. Man, I'm already going to need more water. That was full right before the show. And let's talk about the first product that we got in the carousel today. And that's going to be these Govi Outdoor Smart Lights. Now, I got them way over here. I got them way over here. Hmm. I have them plugged in. Okay. Oh, don't spill everything that you meticulously set up previous to the show. <clears throat> Everything that I tucked away for the concept of professionalism is getting dragged out like a, I don't know, like a net now. But, yo, these are going to be, I'll hold them up. These are the Govi uh, RGB uh, string lights. And what you get here is 96 feet of string lights. Um, and on each 48-foot length of lights, you get 15 shatterproof RGB IC bulbs. That are individually addressable. Uh, that's what I see is like it has an integrated circuit. So uh, these are RGB I see individually addressable. They're really cool. I got an app here on my phone. Let's go back. We'll leave the stream and uh, Govi lights. <clears throat> and so the Govi lights are really cool. Well, this is connecting with Bluetooth. Okay. Um, you get a power button. Oh, look, they're already on. They're activated by uh, they're activated by microphone right now. But what you get in the box is 96 feet of lights. That's 30 bulbs, 15 bulbs per string. And you get this control unit that is basically just a power button. Now, I know I'm kind of like far back, but it really is just a simple power button. I still have the protective plastic from the factory on top of mine. But this power button is going to be, um, let me tell you, uh, it's going to be IP5 weather resistant, the control box. And the lights are going to be ip65 weather resistant so not only are they weather resistant you can leave them out like uh in the spring in the summer but you want to bring them in for the winter um did i unplug these yeah i did i unplugged them but hey you know what <clears throat> that gives me a great opportunity to bend down and pick it up and show you before i plug it back in that it comes with this simple ac wall adapter now the wall adapter does not have any um uh, weather resistance at all. So you want to keep that in mind. And the distance between the non-weatherproof plug in my hand and the control box here, like uh, just swinging at the floor there, that's the distance. That can't be three feet from the floor. It's got to be about three feet. So, you know, keep that in mind. Let me plug these back in real quick. And uh, yeah, they flash to turn on and then they're going to sync, resync with the app. It only takes a second. It's really easy to sync these lights too. I got to hit the reconnect button. Uh, yeah, so they have so many different themes and so many different uh, options. And you also have the ability through the app to change the lights yourselves so you can create your own themes. And there's a huge community that is um, involved in creating new themes and whatnot. And I believe you access that through the Govi app itself. So uh, really awesome ways to download more options, create your own options, extremely versatile lights. And that's not just with the, uh, <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking at the top of my throat today. <clears throat> um, that's not just with the, um, with the string lights that I'm showing you here. That's with like pretty much all Gobi products. So the themes and everything that you can download are applicable to all the lights, but uh, they have like carnival themes. The, uh, uh, the effects lab is where you can create themes, um, but we can go to scenes and then see, uh, this is the illumination mode. So it does do white lights. And then uh, here's the candy mode. I think that just flashes different pastel lights. Now I know that it's difficult for my camera sensor to 
really uh, show these, but these are flashing really quickly, uh, pastel colors. Um, and I really like that theme. Let's see uh, another one. Like I said, I know it's kind of difficult to uh, festival lights mode, uh, Christmas tree mode. So they have a Christmas tree mode and it's just going to be another effect and another theme, a different way to make the lights blink. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of them that can be satisfactory aesthetically for what you need. Um, and you can control the brightness. So there's a really, really great opportunity to control these Govi 96 feet outdoor string lights in, in any way that you want, any way that you want. You can hang them up. They're shatterproof. So uh, like if you were to step on it or something, you're going to break it. Like it will crush, but it's shatterproof. So I just kind of keep them in the box because it's hard to pull them out. And uh, yeah, so you get 15 bulbs on one 48 foot length and there's two 48 foot lengths in here and they, they screw together um, the, the lengths of lights. They screw together exactly the same way that the control uh, power does the, like the control button and the power they screw in the same way. It's with this like protected um, connection from the weather that it's all plastic and everything. And uh, yeah, when you plug it, when you unplug it, it's got three, three little uh, nodes in it. So Really easy to plug in, it, it, and it's proprietary. Like, it can only plug in one way. Let me do that now. Yeah, and then screw the piece on. Where'd it go? Disappeared down here. No problem. Yeah, so we screw these back on. And that's for that's that's it. Really easy to do that. And um, <clears throat> now, I think that this is an accurate statement, what I'm about to say. You can only have 96 feet controlled. If you want another 48 or 96 feet, you have to not, you can't chain that up and, and combine that to make two 96 foot lengths. Okay. Um, you would have to have two different sets of lights. So uh, also keep that in mind today. I'll tell you in a second, once I get back to my Govi app here, let's actually go back to Govi app and hit microphone mode and then go back. Uh, did they stop? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know exactly all the ins and outs of the Gobi app once I leave it, but I did have it like running in the background today, but that's a pretty good representation of what these lights do. And today they are 42% off making them $57.99 and that's down from their $99 and 99 cent price point. So really great deal. 60 bucks for 96 feet of outdoor lights that are shatterproof that you can individually address yourself uh and be a part of a community that has way more lights than that really great really great okay let's put these lights back though <clears throat> and they're in this like dull purple mode it must be just like a mode that is like a rest mode or a sleep mode or something um okay let's return to our live stream so that we have our chat here we got 21 people watching that's great amazon customers started following in the last two minutes that's great Lori Lynn, Angelica, I see you all here. Samantha Guevaro, thanks for coming out, you guys, and hanging out today. Just so you know, we got Rover hanging out, and he's playing house mod in the chat. So make sure that you listen to him in regard to today's roll call and $5 gift card giveaway. Um, yeah, so 10 more, dollars, 10 more dollars than the 48 feet. There you go. You can get one 48-foot length for $10 less, uh, like $48, but you can get twice the amount for only $10 more. That's sick. I got a good deal on mine and I still think I paid a little bit more than 42% uh, off, but I forget. But I got them on deal in October for early access prime deals, deal whatever it was called. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, only $10 more than the 48 foot. Thank you, Lori Lynn. That's a really good deal. Okay, let's move on to the next product in the carousel and let's talk about the Eufy bag. <coughs> Let's leave the bottom. Uh, we can move it. We can just do anything we want, really. You know what I mean? Okay. I still have the same problem as I did yesterday. Well, I don't have enough space because of the new workstation, but that'll change soon enough. I don't want to set up a big table in front of me. I have two big tables, a big one back here for the products, and I have a matching one. But I don't like blocking myself in like that. I don't mind being in a pen in the living room, but I don't like it. I got to figure out something else. 
Uh, I know I was talking about a standing desk, but soon enough, soon enough. Okay. All right. Uh, beyond that, though, let's talk about the uh, Eufy by Anchor HomeVac H30. This is a really nice HomeVac. I got it here on the table. We'll talk about it. I love the box. I'm always a sucker for like reflective, shiny things, and you get that print on the bottom of this Eufy box. Uh, are you a person who likes boxes? <laughs> Do you like boxes? Do you keep your boxes? <clears throat> I keep so many boxes. And now that I've been uh, um, hanging around Amazon Live for a few months, my box to not box ratio has completely become unbalanced. And um, I've got a lot, a lot of boxes. I don't want to get rid of any yet, but man, soon enough, I might have to. But yeah, I really like the way that uh, they made this Yuffie box, even though it's just a square. I like the uh, I like the H30 uh, shimmering print on it. I got another one with shiny with shiny print on it. It's an Exa Telcom headset. Yeah. Okay. This though is the vacuum itself. This is what you get out of the box. Let me pull the power head off for a second and show you the HVAC, um, uh, the home vac. Excuse me, H30. This is it. It weighs under two pounds. It's like just under two pounds, and it has a removable dust canister that. I'm not going to remove today, but really easy to remove. You just press this button here and hold it down while pulling on the canister, and it removes really easily. And it has like a little a little flap in it. Can you see? See the oh, – I know it's reflecting light, but there. See the little trap door? That's cool, right? So the trap door stays closed uh, until you breach it with an extension or uh, when you just start using it, the natural suction will open it. You don't have to have an extension on the end. Uh, yeah, so when you press the button and pull the canister off, you're holding your canister upright this way, right, in your hand. And uh, and the little trap door just falls down and holds all the dirt in place. I think that's kind of neat. Uh, okay, it has an eco mode and a max mode. And with max mode, you can get about 20 minutes of use on a single charge with the battery in the back that you just pinch to remove. Uh, so if you have another battery, you can keep cleaning with this indefinitely. But uh, yeah, after 20 minutes of use, you're going to want to recharge the battery. To do that, you can put it in the vacuum itself and then put it right on this base that is included. Bang, like this. Okay, I'm going to hold the base today. The base is cool. It's uh, when you put it on a flat, sturdy surface, okay, uh, it's not going to it's not going to like tip. It feels really sturdy because it's weighted at the bottom. And uh, also, let me take this out. Also, it has a plug. Uh, receiver on the end, uh, just under my finger here, there to plug your cable in. And on the very bottom of it, it has some cable management options. So this is really cool. Now, um, it makes cleaning really easy uh, because it's so light. And what I like about it is it has a power head. And the power head has these two leads that protrude from it. You see at the very bottom there. And uh, yeah, easy to stick in, easy to stick into the vacuum. The power head does have a roller that does do agitation quite well. And uh, yeah, we use it. We use it almost every single day, actually. And I've been extremely satisfied with it. Now, the extension also is included. And it has this agitating brush on the end that uh, you can press the button and retract it to just show like a hard bristle brush. And then if for any reason, it's extremely easy to remove. But this will not go on to the vacuum itself. You'll have to use the extension in order to utilize the brush. Okay. Uh, that's the Eufy Power Vac. Pretty sweet. Oh, one other thing that I didn't say about it is that after you do remove the dustpan, it does have a filter inside, and that filter is washable. Uh, and it's just a quarter twist to remove and pull out, give it a good wash, make sure it's dry, and then a quarter uh, push it back in, and a quarter twist lock in place, and you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? So the Eufy. Uh, home vac h30 is a pretty good option if you want to clean your car or the couch or pick up a quick mess on the floor um really great and today it is on sale it's 28 percent off of its 180 dollars price point and it's listed here today for 129.99 so 130 dollars for the eufy home vac h30 check it out oh um click through the carousel and look at the uh, Eufy store to see if there is any other products that you like and let me know let me know if you see anything else is there anything that you know that exists that is better than the h30 in a similar in a similar design let me know I, I would like to know
<clears throat> okay. Let's drink more water, man. We're going to drink more water, man. Look at the table shot today. It's awful. My laptop is on two pieces of wood. I got to get a... I've got to get a laptop stand uh, so much. And also the portable monitor has this like decent kind of stand, but I want uh, I want like a tablet stand for this portable monitor. Um, I got to make the workstation function better. And then this is the tight shot today. Okay. Hit this wide shot though. <clears throat> and keep this uh, train flowing. Oh, look. You know how everybody... Oh, let's take a look at the chat. I want to look at the chat. Uh, we got it back here. Step away. Okay, let me take a look on the iPhone here. Um, if you want to do the game. That's a nice vacuum for the car. Yeah, it really is a good vacuum for the car. That's what we use it for when we need to. Uh, and it's really good to just grab, like, maybe a little bit of pet hair off the top of the couch. Anywhere, really. Um it's really good and it's really light too. So it's, it doesn't give you fatigue if you're reaching up to like clean into the corners of the room and whatnot. Uh, really good. Really good. <clears throat> Great price for the 96. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Maybe I'll win one. Which one do I want to win? I want to win so many things, but sometimes I say things and then chat lag catches up and I forget what I say. What would I like to win? I would love to win everything. Oh, the monitor? Monitor, uh, mo a, a laptop stand? A laptop stand? Yeah, I, I don't see anybody give laptop stands away, but uh, I would love to see if there's a giveaway uh, stream somewhere for uh, this awesome, look at this awesome monitor. I don't have it in my in my carousel, but isn't this awesome? Oops. See, that's why I want this. That's why I want to stand. Look, this is the monitor. It's just a 15.6 inch display, uh, portable monitor. I'm getting data and power from the USB C, but look, it has this, it has this, um, cover that is practical and it does its job. Okay. But it does its job with magnets and I just want something more. Oh, pardon me. I just want something a little bit more uh, than magnets because you fold the front down and then put it in place and that's what it leans against. And then the top is a big ma a magnet that holds it into place. And it's just, I mean, you feel that it, it works. You can feel that it works, but there's something else. There's something else and I got to figure it out. And I think it's in the form of a tablet stand. Uh, they're like weighted on the bottom and they hold larger tablets. This is for a, this uh, monitor that I just showed is a 15.6 inch monitor. So, um, yeah, I've been looking at laptop stands and, and, and tablet monitor stands. I'll make some decisions. There's some $13 ones and then there's some $30 ones. So I don't know which one I want. You know what I mean? Do I just want to get something really basic or do I think that like the $30 one, with some options might help me. Now I'm a big proponent of it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So like I am leaning on the one with the more features, but uh, I just, sometimes I get extremely indecisive and I just haven't pulled the trigger yet on the product that I want, but soon enough I will upgrade from a piece of rubber and wood, <laughs> you know, I'll step up to the metal age or something, whatever. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, that monitor's awesome. Yeah, I really like it a lot. I uh, I had won this on the French Glow giveaway, the 12 Days of Glow. It was like day two. Crazy. Uh, I was really lucky and fortunate. Seabass, what's up? I hope you're doing very well. Laura Murphy, thank you for following. Yo, uh, don't forget to enter into the giveaway, Laura. If you haven't, check out the website scrolling at the bottom of the screen. And, uh, and then come back here after you enter, and we're going to do a fun game, a uh, clown race. Okay, let's move on, though, to the next product in the carousel. Now, here's the thing. I see everybody talking about uh, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Who wants a Soundcore Mo Motion Boom Plus? I just, I'm not giving one away today, but who sees the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus and thinks, yes, I need that in my life? I've got one. Where is it? I've got one right here. I'll show it to you real quick. <laughs> I actually took it out of my carousel because I want to show a new product today. But who, who knows about this and who wants one of these? These are awesome. 
These are really great. Um, yeah, we'll put it we'll put it aside here for a minute, okay? But uh, let me see. Uh, I would love one, says Angelica via Real. Uh, Alan DeBay says, I love it. Yeah, I love the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus too. Uh, but listen, y'all, for the exact same price, I'm going to show you another Anchor Soundcore product. I've highlighted it here in my carousel, so there's not much ado about saying what it is. But here it is right here. And this is going to be the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy. And this one, we're going to do a quick demo, but let me go grab the box as well, okay? <clears throat> this is the Party Proof uh, Soundcore Rave Neo. Look at this box. You get an 80-watt speaker. You get 80-watt sound out of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, okay? But you get 80 watts with this. Are we looking at English on this side? What is this? Not English. Uh, I think it's English both ways. I think it's English both ways. Okay. So yeah, this is the Soundcore Anchor Party Proof Rave Rave Neo 2. This is what this radio is. Look at this thing. It has lights on the front of it. I know I got the box. Uh, I got the actual thing, but look at the box. It's got lights in front of it and they change colors. And uh, this thing actually has a powered sub in it. Check this out. It's got a flim, not flimsy, but... Um, not flimsy, but how would you say like soft handle? It has a soft handle and it feels like it's a pretty good grip. It it kind of feels like a like a like a faux leather almost on the top. And it's really heavy too. It's much heavier than the motion boom plus. I'm not actually sure what the um what the weight of it is. Let me look at the box and see if it says, but uh, I really don't know what the weight is. Okay, here's the box. Let me read some quick specs off the box, and then we'll turn it on, and we'll listen to it real quick, okay? 80-watt speaker, bass-up technology, just like the Motion Boom Plus. This is going to be IPX7 weather-resistant. It features PartyCast 2.0, so you can link it up with up to 100 different speakers, uh, like Soundcore speakers that support that feature. You can have dual phone connection so that you both can keep the party going. Uh, you can charge your devices out of the back with it and it offers up to 18 hours of playback time with Beat Driven Light Show 2.0 and a buoyant build as well as being compatible with the Soundcore app, okay? So this is a brand new thing that uh, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about. I don't think I've seen anybody yet feature the Soundcore Rave Neo 2, and I love this thing. So let's turn this on. I've used it just a little bit. And uh, what I like about this speaker over the Motion Boom Plus is, you'll see, look at this light show. I got to grab my phone. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I'm panicking. Uh, I am panicking. I don't know where my phone is at. Oh, my phone is off. Shoot. Um, that's no problem. We just end the show here. Not end the show, but um, uh, just leave the app for a second and pair this. Okay, so let's – I think I actually had a problem trying to pair this before the beginning of the show. But it, it's flashing blue. I turned it on. It made the familiar Soundcore Bluetooth pairing sound. So let's um, – my Bluetooth is on. I'm not a big iPhone guy, okay? And I only use the iPhone for going live uh, and downloading and testing apps. So, okay, my Bluetooth is on. So let me go to my Soundcore. Um, power on and press Bluetooth. And then go to settings. And then go to Bluetooth settings. See, this is, I was having an issue pairing this before, and I don't think that it's a, a sound core issue. I think that it's a, a user problem. And my phone, is, my Android phone is dead. My Android phone is dead. So I'm just having a problem like connecting this speaker to uh, Bluetooth on, but it doesn't scan for any devices. Oh, here it goes. There it goes. Okay. Awesome. It's connected. Great. Okay. Grand. Wonderful. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Let's turn this up. No, not ringer. Okay. Let's open an app for, I don't even know. I don't even know. This is taking a little bit longer than I had anticipated because uh, I just don't use this device. So um, I don't have like a, 
a music streaming service on here. <laughs> um, how do I do this? I guess maybe like this. Oh, uh, here. Let me just uh, suffer through this. Let me just suffer through this. Jan, you, I see you on the TV. Uh, play some YouTube music. Yeah, I don't have the app on the phone, so I'm just trying to open my browser and figure it out real quick. Um, yeah, certainly, uh, certainly that excellent idea is not over my head, Jan. You, I, I just, I'm panicking. I'm like a deer in the studio lights right now. Okay, but uh, yeah, I do have it open. So let's just search for. Um, Okay. Okay. Maybe an ad. Okay, no ad. Okay, is it doing the colors? Is it doing the colors? Oh, it is? Okay, cool. Okay, we'll turn it down for just a little bit. And uh, let's do this. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. It's got a really awesome light design. And when you get this, like I was saying, it's much heavier than the Motion Boom Plus because you get a powered sub in here. And I believe that the speaker that is powered is bigger than the uh, subs that are the drivers that are in the Motion Boom Plus, which I just have on the couch over here. This is awesome. It has different light modes. I don't know exactly which light mode does what. I, I'm still going to have to read the instructions to see uh, what happens when you press the lights to toggle. But like I said earlier, this is IP67 weather resistant, so you can get this wet. It's not going to be a big deal. And just exactly like the Motion Boom Plus on the back, you're going to have a nice uh, access port that uh, offers you USB-C charging in. USB-C charging in here with USB charge, USB-C charging in, USB charging out, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now let me turn this up real quick. From the back of the room okay and this does have independent volume control on it as well uh so you can control the volume from the device or from your broadcasting device i think that's as loud as it goes so honestly, I picked this track and it's just a, a copyright free track that I know that I have, but I am raising my voice, so it is pretty loud. It is pretty loud. But what's really awesome about the powered speaker on this, okay, is that on the back, you can feel the air moving and it pours out like all around the exterior. It just pours right out so much air. You can feel it moving. I love it. It's like a little baby. It's like you can hold it like this after you be like, oh, this, this is just my baby Neo 2. Let me turn it down. <clears throat> and I would be remiss if I didn't make the, the mention just like Adam does from Anchor uh, PR. It looks like a little wow face. It looks like this. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is really cute. The Soundcore, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the Anchor Soundcore Rave Neo 2 is available today. I don't know, for probably 180 bucks. Let me stop this music now and uh, go back to my live and uh, check it out. $179.99 today for the Neo 2. I love the lights on it. Uh, but like I said, it's a lot, a lot, a lot heavier than uh, it, this is a lot heavier than the Motion Boom Plus. So check it out because not a lot of people can do the side by side comparison right now. OK, so these are the two speakers. OK, this is what these are the exact same price. And you can and you can pair these together. You don't have to pair like speakers together. OK, so you can really, really be rocking. Now, I'll admit, I'll say my opinion. I do love this thing. I really do. I don't mind the extra weight to it. However, I just feel like this is going to wear out eventually. This soft, 
this it feels like a leather product um but it does feel soft and i don't think that it feels like poorly made i, I just think that uh a soft thing and a hard thing eventually is going to create some kind of wear right i think that's a i think that's a fair assessment so other than the strap kind of being uh different and i'm only say I, I have no exclusive use of carrying it like this yet i've just been only showing it to you today i just got it like a couple days ago um yeah that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but beyond that this is the soundcore rave neo 2 and today it is 179.99 okay so check it out <clears throat> actually you know what i've been thinking about like uh I've been thinking about presenting and being a host and doing the show. And I'm always like, oh, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Everybody knows that you got to check it out. So I'm going to try to modify my language uh, and not use the phrase check it out on the show. I want to see if I can try to uh, move into a different direction because everybody knows you should check it out. I like saying click through the carousel to learn more. I think that's a really good phrase. Uh, if you got any other phrases that I might try to work into my vernacular while presenting products to y'all, that is not the phrase, check it out. Let me know. Let me know. I'd like to learn some more phrases. But yeah, dude, the Soundcore uh, Rave Neo 2, 180 bucks. Now that it's connected to the thing, maybe the lights will stay on for the rest of the show. If they don't, they don't. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the chat here. Uh, Jan six minutes ago says hello. I have 16 years of the clown race. Jan, hello. Thank you for joining us today. Um, play YouTube music. Yeah. Shopping Dragon says DMCA will strike us. You can only play YouTube audio library copyright free music on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I knew all that. So I definitely have like some music that I got access to that is my own music that is definitely copyright free. So. If you get a copyright on that, let me know because I will dispute it. Um, okay, panic diverted. Yeah, Amazon got strict on that. Yeah, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, do, do, do. okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we should have a problem with that song. A dad joke. Every psychic I ever visited was either a bit depressed or way too excitable. It's really hard to find the happy medium. Jeez. Uh, four minutes ago, I'm only here for half hour, then taking family out to dinner and zoo lights. That sounds crazy. It's just like monkeys wrapped up in Christmas lights. Um, do, 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 do. Heads up on this one. Ooh, that's a good one, Seabass. I like that. Heads up on this one is a really, really, really great one. Heads up on this one. Click through the carousel to learn more. I like that. I'm going to try to remember that one. I hope that I do. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay. Uh, yeah, dude, one more time real quick, though. Uh, uh, Zendaya, thank you so much for following. Don't forget to get entered into our $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. And uh, let's do a follower check real quick right now before we move on to the next product. Uh, the last time I refreshed the show, we were at 2,243 followers. And right now, we are at 2,246. So we got three more followers. That's amazing. I must have just refreshed when I came back into the app a moment ago because I thought it was a lot lower before we started the show. Uh, okay, let's go back into our live stream here now. And uh, yeah, the Rave Neo 2 with the lights. With the lights, you can't beat a rainbow chasing RGB. This is beautiful. You can get two of these if you wanted and pair them up left and right speaker. Uh, or you can twin the audio, you know what I mean, and have them coming out of the same speaker. All right, yo, that's enough of that then. Let's move on from the Govi, uh, excuse me, from the Soundcore Rave Neo 2 and talk about the V-Pod Deluxe. Another great product that I really love. Let's talk a little bit quickly about the V-Pod Deluxe today, okay? The Massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod Deluxe is going to be an EMS and TENS wireless unit. That is awesome, okay? It is $189, and when you buy this, you're going to get two pads and uh two you get three pads and two pods the pads are the electrodes and that's these butterfly boys right here you know what i'm saying uh with the leads on them and then look this is what they look like on the back side just your standard kind of like pre-gelled pad now you can see mine have been used okay but they still stick to your skin really really well i'm gonna forego the demo today but you can see i've had this for almost a year 
Oh, you're following me? Let's uh, not do that. Uh, I've had these for almost a year and they still stick. Some of the edges are a little bit kind of like whatever, but also whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I could make these adhere a little better by putting some water on them if I wanted to, but they still do the job that I need them to do, even if the edges aren't sticking. And yeah, so when you buy this uh, at <clears throat> EMS and TENS unit, you're going to get two wireless pods and that's what this black circle boy is here okay so with this device you press the button once and the light starts flashing blue this means that it's in pairing mode and when you download the app that is for free on ios or google play store uh you can control these pods wirelessly and you get two pods in the kit where's the other one oh it's in the included mesh bag that is individually zippered for each pod for maximum protection okay this is the second pod and when you turn these on they actually color coordinate with the app once you sync them and what is cool about having two pods one app okay is that you can control both devices from the same app and you can have two different treatments going on uh in two different areas of your body so there's 24 different treatments with 20 different power levels and every uh in the app you can press and hold on the treatment that you're that you want and uh and it'll teach it excuse me <clears throat> it will tell you about it like what it's good for and what it's recommended for but uh yeah like i find like if you find that i find that if you find it feels good then just use that setting i i've uh I use all the different settings and they help me in all various ways. But to me, at the end of the day, this is an electronic muscle stimulation or transcutaneous nerve uh, electronic stimulation unit. And, th and that's it. But what makes it stand out is these huge pads. Okay, again, look at these electrodes. And the electrodes, like I showed, all the part that's black on the electrode, that is the electrode. Okay, let me show you something else real quick that I got on the table back here. It's this one. I got to dig the unit out because the unit is so crappy, but you got to see how crappy this unit is, okay? So if the black part on the V-Pod is the part that gives you the EMS, these are the pads on the other. Look, I have to hold it with my pinky finger. So I'm going to swamp it with my hand if I hold it with too many fingers. So, uh, yeah, this is like... Uh, this is too small, and it's corded, and you have to plug it into the device and the device takes batteries, uh, and the V-Pod uses rechargeable batteries, and it has an adapter that is included that uh, splits off into two uh, micro uh, mini USBs, okay? And you can charge both pods at the same time that way. Uh, and yeah, so these are so small, and you have to plug this in. And this boy was $130 back in the day. That is why I can't rave enough about the value of $189 for the V-Pod Deluxe. Now, once again, I think I said it, but it bears repeating. When you buy the massage therapy concepts, V-Pod Deluxe, you're going to get two pads. You get one with the, I've got one here demonstrating how the pod is attached to it. And I've got another small one on the other side that is uh, no pod attached. So these are the small units and they're massive, okay? Look at here. I guess I've never done this before. Look, look at this, look at this. Look, the white and the black isn't much different. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. Even still, even still, look, it's not even half the size. It's not even half the size of one half. What is that? A, a quarter, an eighth? It's not even one quarter the size of the entire electrode. And this was 130 bucks. These are wireless. Okay. I, I'm just saying these are wireless. Okay. Okay, but they are wireless. They're really great at mitigating pain. I've got some kind of like arthritis in my shoulder. This is great for that. Mima's got a bad knee and a sore foot. Sometimes she'll use both small pads on her knee and her foot, treat two different zones of her body at the same time. And these aren't just good for mitigating pain or, pay, or pain management. You can use these after a good workout as well. Um, heads up on this one, okay? Click through the carousel and learn more about the Massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod line because they have more than just these uh, butterfly-shaped pads. And, uh, you know, I'm so excited to talk about it, but I'm not certain if I showed the other pad. So let me be potentially repetitive and tell you again, okay? When you buy it, you get the two small pads, but you also get one large pad as well. 
This is the large pad. Mine is still sealed because we've been extremely satisfied with the two small pads. And uh, yeah, so wireless, big pads. It's only $60 more and you're getting uh, a lot more coverage and uh, you can treat two zones at the same time. This is where it's at. If you have any other EMS TENS unit that's not wireless or made by Massage Therapy Concepts, you're missing out. And also, again, heads up on this one, because when you click through the carousel and and learn more about what's in today's store, you'll see that, uh, like I said, they have more pads. They have ones that go on your abs. So if you have like big workouts, these are good for like workouts. Now, I don't work out. I don't work out. So I've never had to that experience. And they also make pads for your feet that run off of one pod. So uh, and they also make different size pads in different shapes that can maybe uh, treat uh, your pain how you want. I can't rave enough about the Massage Therapy Concepts uh, V-Pod Deluxe EMS and TENS unit because this is one of the best products I have in my house for helping with pain. I've never seen another wireless EMS unit. But once I got the V-Pod Deluxe, I stopped looking, baby, because I didn't need nothing else. I got the best already. What's up? Okay, let's put that there. And again, today that uh, EMS TENS unit is $189. Hey, Christina Nietzsche, three minutes ago. Sorry I missed your comment that long ago. You know, as always, once I start getting in the groove of talking about products, I generally don't divert my eyes over here to the chat, okay? Um, but yeah, I see cool shopper in the chat as well. How often do you use them, Blake? The TENS unit? I use that unit, I will say, like lately, not as much as I have been but I use it a lot and Mima uses it a lot. I bet you we take it out of the box. We take it out of the box for demonstration purposes often, but that doesn't count, right? So for actually pain management, I'd use this at least twice a week, at least twice a week. Sometimes I just can feel like uh, a lazy bones. And even though I think that I would like to put it on, I simply don't. Uh, isn't it true? We are our own worst enemy. You know what I mean? But yeah, like really at least twice a week, I like to use it. I like to put it right here on my shoulder. I got like kind of like a sore kind of like clavicle bone or whatever, whatever this boy is. And I just strapped that right on me. Now I like the intensity of some of the settings, but sometimes it gets me going like this and it like twitches my neck and everything. So, uh, even though I'd like to use it on a stronger setting, Sometimes I use it on the lower setting so that I'm not like freaking out. Y'all have seen me put it on my, um, oh, uh, yeah, we don't want to track. You've seen me put it on my uh, arm and watch my hand twitch and everything. So, <sighs> okay, let's drink a water and look at the chat. Let's look at the chat from the TV. Margaret, what's up? Randy Dresden, you can step away as long as you need to, but uh, thanks for coming back. Randy says the TENS unit really helps. Do you have a good one? 10% off coupon 10% off coupon for the TENS unit. Yo, that's awesome. I don't get to see the coupons in my carousel, so I was unaware of that. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. So 10% off, so like 20 bucks, so like 160, 160, 170, sorry. That's not bad. Not bad. Like that old boy. Let me look. Let me talk about it. I'm going to see if I can find this thing. Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, right here. Right here, buddy. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Can I even show this? Can I? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is it. This is it. Look at. You'll be even. You'll be in even more bliss than this woman in the body relax <laughs> look at this <laughs> um yeah but what's really interesting about this is the price tag and it says 129.99 okay i don't know if you're able i think there you go yeah you know what i'm saying so so uh hey what's up bart <laughs> what's up vicky e um yeah let me see if i can figure out how to open this thing let me just pull it open. Yeah, okay. Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. It's just a little controller unit. Takes uh, some AA battery. Oh, maybe I can pull these AA batteries out and put them in my microphone, but these are so old. Yeah, and uh, you got your basic commands up, down. You got a few options. 
that you don't have as many options on this thing with those little pads as you do with the V-Pod Deluxe. I just can't stress it enough that I have this thing and it has a $130 price tag on it and that you can get one for 60 bucks more or less and be way better than this. I'm going to keep this out for future uh, demos. Okay, that's the that is it for real. Okay, cool. Rover's definitely taking care of that. Um, uh, roll call for the giveaway, so pay attention to that in the chat. And let's talk about the next product that we got here. And this is going to be the Amazon uh, Fire HD 10 tablet. And this is not the plus version. But I'll tell you, the difference between what I have and the version that uh, the plus version <coughs> basically is just an extra gigabyte of RAM and a metal back. The. Uh, the uh, Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet that I have here is the 2021 model, I believe. And uh, it's got uh, it's got everything that you need that a traditional tablet does. It's, it's This is the 10.1 inch model. And um, uh, it's pretty fast. It's, it, it's zippy, okay? Um, kind of like losing my groove here. Let me step back into it for a second. I haven't talked about the HD uh fi the fire hd 10 tablet in a minute so uh yeah you get a nice screen it's 10.1 inches and this is kind of like locked down to the amazon app store so some apps aren't compatible it was hard to find like a snapchat app for example and like the vpod deluxe app like i can't download that onto this because the app just doesn't exist in the amazon store however through settings that are easily accessible within this device you can enable the ability to install third-party apps and then you can sideload the Google Play Store. You can sideload the Google Play Store into this device and then have access to even more apps that, that you didn't have previously. And that really unlocks a lot of power and makes it more like a traditional tablet uh, when compared to not having that uh, installed on the device. Um, but Mimi uses this and she's like uh, pretty simple. So she doesn't like do some social media stuff. And she hasn't ran into too many issues in regards to what she wants to do with proprietary apps. So we have not put the uh, uh, Google uh, Play Store on this device yet. But it's really cool. Um, and, and that's kind of like all I want to say. It's a regular tablet. It's a, kind of like an Android operating system. But it is, it's, it's, it's Amazon. It's like locked to that Amazon store. So if you do get one of these, which uh, today they're $150, these go on sale often for half price. So just like straight up, click through the carousel and maybe add this to your cart if you've been waiting to get one. But uh, they will go on sale. Okay, so just be patient today. Um, but yeah, these are available today for $150. And then let's just keep it going real quick here after that and talk about the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet cover now this is the official cover that i have uh by amazon for the tablet and uh honestly like i'm kind of like uh my brain has holes in it and i can't understand things most of the time and uh i'm honestly just having a hard time figuring out the most simple uh device here a, a tablet cover so uh look let me cut to this uh let me cut to this table shot today and uh yeah so obviously Obviously, like we got our tablet closed. We got our tablet closed. Okay. We got our tablet closed. Okay. Let's open it. Now we can use it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's stand it up in, in, in portrait mode. Easy. Okay. Okay. We want to stand it up in portrait mode. We can fold this into the top and pull the bottom out like a picture frame. And then it sits. And now we have this in, in tablet mode. I mean, in, 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 port in portrait mode. Okay. Where my brain has so many holes is how do I put this in tablet mode? Is it like this? Oh, it is like this because the camera goes at the top. Maybe I had it upside down earlier because I was like struggling with trying to learn how to do this. But what an easy way to understand how to orient your device. Wow. <laughs> My brain suddenly just had one of its holes patched. So we can open the device and utilize it and we can spin this around and put a magnet grip on the top and pull it out. Bang. We got it like this. And then uh, with our camera at the top, we can just pull it out like this. Wow. Amazing. Here, look, turn it around. Uh, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? 
So really adds like um, a uh, a level of uh, not not security, but versatility. The cover really adds a level of versatility to the device that Mima simply didn't have previously uh, because she was always holding it. Now she can put it down uh, if she wants, and that's a, a real big help. And also it's cool that you can protect your screen with it. Um, and because of the magnets that are built into the device or wherever the magnets are located, um, when we close it, it actually um, puts the device to sleep. OK, so you don't have to press the power button. And then when you open it, it will turn it back on automatically. So that's really cool. And this is like this. I know it's hard to tell again because of the way that my uh, sensor and my camera act. But this is like uh, it looks pink. It looks pink. It's got a nice texture to it, but uh, this it it looks like a dusty pink. They call it lavender. They call it lavender. So click through the carousel today and learn more about the Amazon Fire HD10 tablet cover. Now again, this model is for the 2021 version of the tablet. I don't know how universal fits go with button placements and whatnot. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so be be uh, mindful of that. But I know that you get like a charcoal, which is like black. You get a navy, an olive, and the lavender. And uh, since it's Mima's tablet, we went with a lighter, more pleasing uh, lavender color. Thirty nine ninety nine today. And once again, this is definitely kind of like the type of thing that goes on sale pretty often. So if you're interested in this product, click through the carousel, see the color that you like, add that to your cart, and then be uh, mindful of when the deals hit, okay? Because it, it definitely going to get a deal on this. We learned something new today, how to stand up a tablet. Save 20% with trade-in. USB rechargeable batteries. I'll have to check that link. Uh, can you send me that link on uh, on our private messages? I'd love to take a look at the batteries. I have 24 of 30 names, six more names. Okay. Um, okay, let's take a look at the next product that we got here. And this is going to be the Fire Stick. Okay, the Fire Stick's actually plugged in to the TV right now. Where's my Fire Stick box? Boom. But this is what you get. This is what you get in the box, okay? Let's uh, let's do tracking for this one, I suppose. Okay, so this is what you get in the box: the Fire Stick, uh, the Fire TV Stick 4K. Pardon me, and uh, comes with the remote. I have it here in my hand, and the device, which is just at the bottom of the, uh, which is just at the bottom of the, of the box here. Okay, so with the Fire Stick. TV uh, with the Fire TV Stick 4K, you can plug this into an HDMI port on your television, and you have access to uh, all types of things. Uh, I can, if uh, okay, I can hit the home button, and then this takes me home. And now there's a lot of free like options. There's a lot of free content that you can have access to if you're not an Amazon Prime member, but if you are an Amazon Prime member, then you have access to all Prime video and all Prime music right here. Also, Alexa is built into the uh, device, uh, into the Fire TV Stick 4K. And uh, Alexa only works by pressing the button on the remote control. Uh, and you can open apps that are on the device. Open Pluto TV. Oh, I was watching Taxi last night before I went to bed. I guess we'll just turn it down. We know what audio sounds like. But, uh, yeah, so you get a lot of free stuff. Right now I'm just watching Taxi on Pluto. But uh, we can go back and see what other channels they offer here. And this is just one thing. This is just one thing that you can do. Uh, these are all different live channels. Here's the Dick Van Dyke Show and the Carol Burnett Show. They've also got comedy channels where they're running South Park. 24 7 and again these are just on this pluto tv app okay home uh like i said there's disney plus on this you can have apple tv on this if it's a streaming app then you can probably download it onto the fire stick and if you have a subscription for that particular service then you can utilize that service like as you need uh okay open the web browser 
It, it does talk to me. I just have my voice uh, turned down right now. Sweet. And then it takes me back to the last page that I had open, which here is uh, is uh, Amazon Live. Here we are, chilling on Amazon Live, greeting Kmart Kelly. Kmart Kelly, hello. Okay. Let me uh, let me hit play here and. Now I wonder, does anybody know if for does anybody know if for the Fire TV Stick 4K, do they offer like a remote control? Uh, not a remote control, excuse me. Do they offer a remote control that features like a full QWERTY keyboard, so that I'm not always single clicking? Uh, I wish I could like put a Bluetooth keyboard on this. I don't know if that exists or not. Um, wow, I didn't really know you can really do that on the TV. Yo, the Fire Stick is awesome. Okay, let me show you another thing real quick here. Um, home. Okay, so it takes me home, and then let me just pop over here to my PC and open a new page, and let's go to YouTube here real fast, and um, let's find uh, um, uh, let's go to an old not slim one video, and uh, let's do. Uh, Let's just do this first video. Forward a little bit and turn it on mute because I might have some content that maybe not slim one videos weren't the right content. But yo, right now I'm playing a video on my laptop. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see, but I'm playing a video on my laptop, a video that I uploaded a little while ago. And so in my Chrome browser, I can run this to my Fire TV real easy and then what happens is instead of mirror casting my device my laptop to the um to the uh to the app uh, excuse me instead of mirror casting my laptop to the fire tv what it does is it actually executes the youtube app that i have installed on the fire stick and then gives all that information now i do experience this issue where if I'm playing a, a, a video previously, then the video that I want to play currently doesn't play. So sometimes I kind of have to click back. I was watching some music videos earlier. Uh, and now that I'm in this menu not playing a video, now it should be fairly easy to cast a video. So we stop and then we recast. And now this should play a, a video of me here in a moment. Really, really awesome. And what else is great about this feature with the Fire Stick, being able to cast your YouTube content to your to your Fire Stick, is that like I have the ability to use the shortcuts on my uh, on my. Okay, let's uh, let's go uh, home. Let's go home. Um, I have the ability to uh, to use the keyboard shortcuts on my PC. To control the YouTube content that I have playing um, on my on my fi through my Fire Stick, you know what I'm trying to say. So uh, that's really cool, and that's just like a thumbnail scratch of features. You can also do things like uh, if you have like a Fire HD 10 tablet, for example, or other tablets. There's Miracast or like screen mirroring apps that exist, and you can just mirror your entire tablet onto your TV, super easy, open the web browser. And, um, and yeah, it's, I, I've been really, really, uh, having a lot of fun with the fire TV stick 4k. Um, and I did have prime earlier when I got the stick, but I let my prime expire. Uh, so be it. Um, but yeah, it was really awesome being able to use a lot of prime video features and Amazon music. Now I can use Amazon music here with the fire stick, uh, but it's like free Amazon music. So every time I'm like, every time I speak to Alexa and I'm like, oh, play me like a 90s hip hop playlist. It always plays the exact same playlist and it always plays um, like the same commercials and stuff. But when you have Prime, you know, you don't get those ads anyway. Uh, OK, so this looks good. This looks good. Wow, I didn't know you can really do that. Yeah, I can reply to the chat. It's really like tedious, though. It's extremely tedious. So if it's okay, I'll, I'll just say hi in the chat, okay? Hi. And then next. Uh, back, I guess. And then send. And then back. 
so it's a little complicated it's kind of a little, oh sorry uh i think you could see me typing i think you could see this portion of the screen let me walk over here though a little bit so we can get the tv more in the shot so yeah yeah you can see me typing in the chat i sent that message uh, yeah you can see so very very cool very very cool a lot of features and once again i haven't even had to take i haven't taken even the opportunity to tell you about how you can enact developer mode um on the fire stick and then um add any apk that you want you can download anything and run anything on these fire sticks in regards to uh streaming apps um and for that definitely learn more yourself okay and be educated in what you're doing before you do it but uh i did i downloaded the right downloader uh, through the app store and then just start that started downloading all these uh, different uh, streaming services and stuff that weren't really available through the app store. Okay. So you can really unlock features. If you know anything about Cody, okay, you can run Cody on the fire stick. I'm pretty sure. And there's even more things that uh, can make it an even deeper level of aesthetic and experience for your viewing pleasure with the fire stick. Okay. One other thing I want to tell you about the Fire Stick is that it is exclusively Wi-Fi and you have to run a power source to it by plugging it in. I don't, or maybe I don't have power over HDMI ports on my device. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but definitely I have to plug mine in with the included power adapter and my uh, mini USB st uh, port plug, okay? And another thing that I wanted to say before I talked about the power and stuff is that this is exclusively Wi-Fi. So if you want like a hardline thing, then maybe consider getting the Fire Cube. I'm definitely interested in like a small computer, like a small computer. Uh, but the Fire Cube and the Fire Stick and the way that you can put whatever you want on it almost makes it a lot easier for entertainment this way than having like a small computer hooked up to the TV. Okay, boom. That's a lot about the Fire Stick. Every time I talk about it, I usually just talk about the hardware. But today we got the hardware and the TV, don't we? So we don't really get to feature the hardware that well. Uh, this is the Fire TV Stick 4K, and today it is $26.99. And that's got to be 46% off from its uh, $50 price point. So $27 today. I personally have only ever seen these go down as low as... 50% off. So the extra two bucks today, not really a big deal in my personal opinion. Um, $27 is a great deal for a fire stick. If you are even remotely interested in doing this. Oh, FYI, Linux can be installed on a fire stick. Yeah. So there's a, uh, there's a lot of different options to unlock the power of a television with a fire stick or a fire cube. Uh, heads up on this one. It's 46% off today. Uh, let's put the remote here and grab a drink and check the chat, and then we'll talk about the next product. <clears throat> Kmart Kelly, eight minutes ago. Hello. Okay, not a whole lot in the chat. Randy Dresden, we have Roku on one TV. Would that interfere with the Roku to put the Fire Stick on another TV? No, I don't think so. Because if the Roku is just a box that you have plugged into one television, then that is just like its own thing, doing its own thing on your wireless network. Or if you have it hardlined to your router, that's its own device. Just like having two computers on the same thing. The Fire Stick is just a computer, you know what I mean, with limited capabilities. And your Roku device, I would assume, would be the same thing. So if you have a Roku device plugged into one HDMI port on one television, you can have a Fire Stick plugged into another HDMI port on another television, or you can have your Fire Stick plugged into a different HDMI port on the same television because they're two different sources, right? So I don't think that they would interfere with each other. I don't have a Roku box and I don't have experience with one, but it just sounds like pretty, it sounds to me like what I would consider to be common knowledge. So uh, I, I don't think you would have interference with that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep it moving, baby. Let's talk next about the Noco Genius 2x2. Two two. Hey, Lydia, what's up? I hope that you're doing great today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you buy a Fire Stick, Randy, on my recommendation. And uh, if you use it, I think you'll be satisfied with it. 
Um, and also these are like, uh, these are like made for, these are made for simplicity. You know what I mean? So like it works, what works works and, and it's made to work. So it does. Uh, let's talk about the NOCO. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to do that. My bad. I ripped my box a little bit just now, y'all. Ripped my box. Okay, let's leave this down. We'll talk about the box that I just ripped, though. We're going to talk about this here right now. This is the NOCO Genius 2x2 two two battery charger. This is two, excuse me, this is a 4-amp battery charger in the form of two 2-amp two battery banks. And these are really great um, for charging two different batteries at the same time. Now, this is what the device looks like. Did you know it's IP6 weather resistant? So you can get this a little bit wet, okay? But there are exposed leads on it here in the center there. So you, that's where you plug your power in to get it to the wall. And you do have leads that come off of it. You know, it's a battery charger. So don't get it too wet. But it's got a really nice plastic sealed design. You get a little bit messy. You're not going to have a problem in the shop. Also, it's got hooks on the back right here where my finger is on both sides so that you can mount this to the wall or screw it down and keep it solid in place, whatever you need. It has short leads that come off of the device, and it has short alligator clips that clip onto your batteries because the alligator clips are modular in the sense that they are removable from the power lead, and then you can have this eyelet. See how the, uh, the leads are screwed into the alligator clips with a simple screw? You can pull that, you can unscrew these, remove these alligator clips, set them aside, and then permanently mount this short fused lead to your battery and tuck it away. Uh, really awesome. So that's not still a lot of space. That's not a lot of space hooking these two up, but uh, it's still easy to hook them up even though there's not a lot of room. You can remove the proprietary cap from the uh, NOCO Genius 2x2 and then plug it into uh, plug it in to the leads just like this and then that's what you get and you got like a little red button here that you can press you see just gently there how it lifts and uh, pressing that button is what's going to be allowing you to remove your leads and like i said sure maybe it's a little bit short but also you're going to get included in the box a 10 foot extension cord and that's what this boy looks like okay that's what this boy looks like it looks like a regular piece of wire that is 10 feet long. You're going to get those proprietary weather covered cables uh, on the ends of these as well. And uh, you're going to get two 10 foot extensions and two alligator clips in the box because this is a two amp bank. Now, a couple more things I want you to know about the NOCO Genius 2x2 is that you can charge uh, three or four different types of batteries with this. You can charge lithium ion batteries you can charge agm batteries as well as uh more traditional uh lead acid batteries with this all of those uh chemical mixes um at 12 volts 12 volt batteries okay also there's a feature where you can charge some six volt batteries with this as well and another amazing feature that i love talking about included built into the NOCO Genius 2x2 smart charger is the ability to recondition batteries that are reading zero volts. So when you attach this charger to a battery that reads zero volts, uh, it will attempt to force a charge into that battery. And then if the Genius can detect even a single volt from that dead battery, it will attempt to enable reconditioning mode. Uh, it, it will recondition the battery by entering a maintenance mode and it will attempt to fix your battery. So I've brought some batteries back to life with this and I also have not. So definitely results vary with that feature. But when you res resurrect a dead battery, it feels real good. Um, yeah. And then there's uh, other indicators here in regards to cross polarity or bad temperatures and a few other options that... Uh, you can learn about by clicking through the carousel and checking out this NOCO Genius 2x2 product. Now, um, uh, I realized that I said checking out and I didn't want to. That's one of those kind of like simple, simple phrases, isn't it? But uh, yeah, definitely consider learning more about this by clicking through the carousel and see what NOCO has to offer you. Because not only do they have um, battery chargers, but they also have uh jump starters and they sell different cables and they have a lot of different options like they have 
10 amp one one port chargers this is this is four amps because it's two two amp battery banks they have one that's four two amp battery banks so you can really get your things charged uh with noco products i love my noco genius i use it for the scoots which I haven't taken the batteries out yet, and it's getting really cold out now. So I better go get those batteries out. And then I'm going to have to put these on the mend. And I'm not going to want to drag it out every week. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to give a demo of this uh, on some batteries soon. But the Noco Genius 2x2 is very affordable. It's available today for $99.95. What's up, Leslie Sheffield? What's up, Bart? What's up, Stargazer? What's up again, Boston Butterfly and Robin Luker? Yo, uh, our friend in the chat, Rover, is going to handle the roll call for the giveaway. I know the majority of you know that, but uh, what are we getting up to the Lytra Glow soon? Yeah, okay. I think he's going to start that really soon after the OBS bot. So I'll just help out here and say, welcome. If you're new, please hit that follow button. It's very important for our metrics. Hello, Evans. And also um, head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter at least your email in that form to come back here and have a chance to win that $5 Amazon gift card, okay? But I uh, do appreciate it that you do all of the entries and uh, and help our social media following grow. Okay, now then with that, let's talk about the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K webcam. Did you know that the entire time I've been talking to you today, I've been broadcasting the show from an OBSBOT? I love the OBSBOT, and this is what it looks like right here. Now, I can't show you, again, the physical camera because I'm actually broadcasting from it now. So, um, Obsbot, if you want to send me a camera, another camera so that I can show it on the stream, that would be great. Um, Obsbot didn't send me this camera, um, but uh, it would be cool if they did send me a camera is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K resolution camera is an amazing addition to any setup if you're doing live streaming or if you're just chilling with your webcam and your friends it's a really really fun thing and that fun can be uh like reassessed as productive because uh check this out as like as you know we got the gesture to have the camera track you around the room and this offers you like uh 270 degrees of of, of range. I'm not going to go all the way over here. I've got some things I'd prefer that you did not see on the show today. You know what I'm saying? But the camera does excel at following you around the room. Uh, now, if you're running around the room, maybe that's not going to be the best option for you. And uh, um, so, yeah, so we can zoom in. Uh, and when the OBSBOT recognizes that L shape, it's going to zoom all the way in. Now, all the way back here, we're zoomed in at about 3.5%. I kind of have to go up manually here to get that last uh, four times digital zoom, okay? When you buy the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K webcam, these features are baked into the firmware. So uh, you can hold your hand up and have the camera stop tracking you if you just want to be back here. You can hold your hand back up again in an L shape to have the OBS, hold on, <clears throat> to have the OBS bot recognize that you want to zoom out. There you go. And uh, even while you're doing one command, you can still execute another command. You don't have to wait for one command to finish in order to do the other. I love the OBSBOT Tiny 4K PTZ. It's really, really perfect for what I do here uh, on Amazon Live. And uh, I, I, I need to uh, just get the OBSBOT hooked up to better software like actual OBS uh, would be uh, really cool. But when you download the OBSBOT webcam software, you're going to get a nice firmware upgrade and you're going to get the OBSBOT webcam software itself. And once you have that software, let me tell you, all, all hats are off. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have absolute, complete control over your OBSBOT tiny 4K. Let me, uh, let me uh, do this. 
Uh, check this out. I can move my cameras left. and Oh, uh, sorry, you're still tracking me. We can turn the tracking off real quick. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can, with keyboard shortcuts, I can move the camera left and right. Uh, I can move it up and down. Also, uh, I can zoom it in and out. And uh, I have presets, so I have my wide shot here as well as my table shot. And then also I have my third preset is my head shot. So the head shot's just a little bit closer than, uh, than what the wide shot is. It actually looks pretty good like this. Uh, I'm looking good today, okay? Uh, and also you can reset it to its natural zero, zero position, which is extremely close to my wide shot position, as you can maybe see there. Now, uh, you can control multiple devices. Uh, you can control multiple OBSBOT devices through the OBSBOT webcam software. And really, the software is what makes the OBSBOT shine. Now, again, look at the picture on the box. This is what it looks like. That tracking motion, that's going to be your panning motion left and right, as well as your ability to tilt up and down and digitally zoom, okay? Now, another two things I want to show you about this is uh, first track me, track me here. Now it doesn't just do up and down with that pan tilt zoom. You're going to be able to get low, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and the camera is going to follow you. So it really has the ability to keep your body centered or you can have your head more centered in the shot. If you want, there's a lot of great options here with the obs, butt and, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's what I want to tell you about. It comes with this really cute case. You get a cute case with it. And what's really cute about the case is the versatility of how it's got a vacuum form inside to hold the OBSBOT in place. Oh, let's turn off these tracking features. Uh, to hold the OBSBOT in place while uh, in transportation. It also has a magnetic base that can allow you to run the OBSBOT upside down. But those two ideas don't coincide with each other, okay? It has a magnetic base. That's what this is. If you want to put it on your monitor, you also can run the OBSBOT upside down if you need. Uh, but recognize that it has a quarter-inch screw on the bottom for, like, your standard tripod mount. Uh, don't use a magnet to attach the OBSBOT in an inverted manner. Really cool. I love the OBSBOT. The only way – there's no way to make the OBSBOT better um, – There's no way to make the OBSBOT better. It's the perfect web camera. I just went through every idea that I could. And yeah, it's really great. Really saves on like not having to have another person come out and uh, be a part of like your show. You know what I mean? If if you uh, even still, who wants to be hanging out with me and just uh, pointing a camera at me and zooming in and out? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for two hours, for two hours. Okay, let's talk about the next product in the carousel here. I think some drones use the same tech for tracking. I know that they – oh, camera's good for TikTok videos. Clutter? I got a lot of clutter four minutes ago. Uh, no, it's not clutter. It's uh, – I just didn't want you to see my ashtray. Um, drones, tracking, tech. Okay, let's drink water, and then let's talk about the next product. And here we go, Rover. It's going to be the Logitech Lytra Glow. Man, I drank a lot of water today. Uh, Logitech Lytra Glow shirt. We're going to skip the light demo. Oh, do I got the cord right here? I think I can plug in the Lytra Glow and give the demo. This is going to be the Lytra Glow by Logitech. Uh, again, I know that it's a little washed out here. I've got to get some, like, diffusers for my lights. Look at my lights. Wrong button. Oh, here they are. You can't even tell, but it's four bulbs. I have four bulbs, and it's only three bulbs in there, but they're just bulbs, and they're not diffused or anything. So it really, like, washes a lot of my uh, – it really washes a lot of uh, my stuff out, and I don't like that. But this is a lot of white. This is a lot of white on here, I suppose. 
But this is the Logitech Lytra Glow Key Light. You can put it on your monitor. This is what it looks like. It's got a nice stand that has a retractable top side. So you can really get it in that uh, into any position you want, whether it's a big monitor or a small monitor, or maybe you want to mount this somewhere else. I don't know. It's good to go. It's got a little rubber pad on the very bottom here so that you can uh, get that grip on the bottom of your monitor. And it's one of these bad boys, you know what I'm saying? Real easy. And uh, it's got a quarter inch on it. So you can mount this to a tripod, which again, I love that feature. I'll never, ever get over things that mount to tripods. This is the Lytra Glow in itself. It's got a bezel-less design and it offers five different light intensities uh, with five different, uh, uh, oh, 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 I don't wanna drop that. I don't wanna drop that. One sec, gosh darn it. Oh. Yeah, so this is the Lytra Glow by Logitech. It's a really good little uh, light for your. Um, you can you can mount this on a camera. It's so light, but it's not battery operated. It is USB C on the back to plug it in. Here, let me uh, turn it off. And it's just got really simple controls on the back. One is to control the warmth of the light, and one is to control the intensity of the light. And you have five different warmth settings and five different intensity settings here. So this is the coldest and darkest setting uh so uh look one 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 two three four five different settings for your coldest bluest light and then uh one uh two three four five different settings for uh, a really nice orange light as well we could turn this down a little bit all the way and cycle through these lights and you can kind of see that gradient sort of change but uh to see it in person it's really great uh because it has so many different 25, I guess you would say different options are built into this light as you have five different warmths and five different intensities. Uh, I like this, but look, uh, we can jump down to the table real quick. I like that. It has that bezel -less design. So even if you have it face down, light is still coming out of it. And I don't, I don't know why, but I think that's really good. Okay. So today though, the, uh, oh, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. this stop working hmm. let me try this again there we go i don't know what happened today though the logitech lytra glow is available for 49.99 that's aka 50 dollars, and it is 17 percent off from its traditional 59.99 msrp so heads up on this uh it's on sale today if you're looking for a simple key light that is light in, in weight and bright and light intensity, then the Logitech Lytra Glow is something you should be considering, okay? Um, and again, that tripod mount is the best thing. I love that. Okay, what's the next thing? Oh, it is the Quintus. I got the Quintus right here, boy. Let's just do it like this because we can wrong way boom check this out first of all that's four times digital zoom on the that's four times digital zoom on the obs bot and that's got to be about i'd say three feet away that's about three feet away but this little doodad here on the end of the desk, and we're just going to stay stationary like this while I get some water, is the uh, Quintus 65-watt smart personal device charging station. This is the IntelliSense, they call it. And it has two USB outputs. That's the two boys that are at the top that don't have anything plugged into them currently. And, uh, and they are going to be... Uh, they offer different types of charging ranges going from five volts, three amps, which is good for your, uh, your cell phone, uh, all the way up to 20 volts, three and a quarter amps and 65 Watts max. Okay. Now, admittedly, I'm reading the box. I'm reading the box and I don't know a lot about electricity, but I know that five volts, three amps is going to be good for your cell phone. 
and 20 volts, three and a quarter amps. I don't know. That's probably good for your laptop or something. And then the USB 2, the USB-C second port, the one that is under the top one, uh, offers a little bit less. It's going to be 20 volts at one and a half amps, 30 watts max. And also it's going to push out that five volts at three amps. Um, and then you have a couple of different USB-A ports on here. And the top one, which uh, which has my braided plug in it currently, uh, that puts that's good for your tablets. That's going to put out 20 volts, one and a half amp, uh, one and a half amps max, and then also five volts for your phone. And then the last two, there's two USB ports that are under this one, and these are going to be uh, five volts, three amps. They're just pretty much good for your phone, you know, or like your low level tech stuff like that that you want to charge, like your AirPods. Or whatever okay let me drink a water uh it comes in that cool stand and the stand is kind of like waved out like that so that you can lean your cell phone against it and uh that's cool and ever since i got this it's great because so many things are uh usb charged nowadays that it's cool that i can just have one thing plugged into an outlet on the ground instead of five or six different adapters taking up an entire squid it's awesome and you can put it on your desk and it's removable it's removable from uh from here as well you can pull it out so you can lay it down if you want it's just one plug on the back five plugs on the front and uh yeah this is the quintus intellisense and um I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's been serving its purpose here very, very well. And uh, if you're looking for a good charger, this one is an affordable one at $35. Uh, not on deal today. I don't know if I've seen the Quintus on deal, but I'm sure it's the type of product that does go on sale. But once again, today, uh, the Quintus 65 watt IntelliSense. It is 65 watts, right? Yeah, 65 watts max IntelliSense personal device smart charger is available for $34.99. You hear my floor creaking? It's the only spot like in the living room. I've been here 10 years. I got to get my floor fixed. But it's not bad. It's just a creaking floor. It's seen a lot worse. Uh, okay, let's move on from the USB-C charging thing and talk about some EXA headsets. And I see that uh, my man is handling this roll call. Okay, so all the roll call stuff is getting handled now. Let's talk about the Exa Trucker headset. This is the Exa Telcom H1 Trucker Bluetooth headset, and it is designed for truckers, but anybody can use it. You don't have to be a trucker. Here's another great example of beautiful shimmering box art. I love the copper on this. But yeah, like I'm saying, the Exa Telcom Environmental Noise Cancelling Wireless Headset is the product that we're going to talk about now. It's currently highlighted in the carousel, and it's a pretty cool little device. Before I show it to you, I want you to see that it comes with a very simple kind of felt sort of silky feeling cinch bag with the Exa brand uh, um, screen printed on it. So that's pretty cool. It's got the social media information on the back of the bag. And then, yeah, this is it. This is that boy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bi-directional. You can put it on your head and wear it. And uh, the microphone is really good to reach your mouth. Also, uh, it has 270 degrees of rotation. So you can turn it all the way around and wear it on the other side. You don't have to unplug anything or plug anything back in. It's got a good noise isolation cup. And features an algorithm that reduces road noise to produce a clear audio call quality for the person that you're speaking to. Now, these are great for truckers. You can keep your phone in your pocket and use this. You're going to, with that noise isolating cup, you're going to be able to hear a clear call as well as still be aware of your spatial surroundings. Um, I think on the box, it's set on the, on the, on the um, product page that it advertises up to 100 feet of range. So you can leave your phone in your rig if you need to and still be able to go all the way to the back of the rig. And once again, be hands-free uh, in order to open your doors or change your uh, tire or whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do, you're going to be in good communication with people if you need to be while doing it. The, uh, the, uh, the cup has a Bluetooth sync button 
volume buttons and a microphone mute button built into it. And the side of the uh, headphones that touches your head that is not the cup has like a really kind of nice flexible rubber um, padding that is not intrusive or pinching on your head. And it offers a degree of rotation to conform to your head properly. And finally, the uh, only adjustment for the head is on the cup side, okay? So you don't get that uh, adjustment on, on this side. Today, the Trucker Bluetooth headset is available for $89.99, and it seems to be the perfect gift for the trucker in your family. Hey, you know what? I never opened the box, and I was reading that it comes with a... It says it comes... Look, look at the picture in the carousel. Look at the picture in the carousel right now. It comes with a USB dongle. But I just got a USB-C cable. Let me look at my instruction manual real quick. Packing list, EXA Telcom H1 headset, charging cable, carry pouch, user manual. Four options. So, so this one says that it has a USB Bluetooth, but I don't have that in my box. And my packing list doesn't include that USB uh, um, consideration in here either. So I don't know. I don't know what it, what it is about, the, uh, about that. But I saw that on the product page the other day when I was doing some work, and I was like, I don't think mine has the USB. Anyway, like I said, the Trucker USB Bluetooth headset by EXA, a.k.a. the EXA Telecom Environmental Noise Canceling Wireless Headset H1 model is available today for $89.99. All right, let's move on to the next one. We'll grab both of these, and then I'll have to go back here. Okay, we'll put these ones here. Okay, let's talk about the EXA E1000 USB gaming headphones. These are really nice gaming headphones. They have some beautiful padding that we're going to take a look at. And just like the E1000s that we're looking at now, similar to the next product in my carousel, we see that they come with this EXA cinch bag. Uh, these cinch bags feel like kind of like, I don't know. I don't like this cinch bag. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like this cinch bag. I don't like, maybe it's the way that the material bunches up and the way that the cord feels very soft. Okay. I just, I just want to say that. Um, Cause look, you should be able to cinch it. And I, I feel like my cinch now should be smaller, but I guess not. I mean, the headphones aren't going to come out of this. Right. But I just thought that like it should cinch more. That's all. That's all. But yeah, it comes with the cinch bag. Really easy to open though once you do get it cinched shut. And the headphones that come with it, they do fit in the bag very nicely. So, uh, you know, pop them in and uh, we'll cinch it shut with the wires out. I mean, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I just, I guess I expected like the cinch to be a little bit smaller, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's what it looks like while they're in the bag. Um, okay, let's open this bag though again and pull them out. Just give them a quick talking to, okay? These EXA 7.1 simulated surround sound headphones have 50 millimeter drivers in them and uh, plug into any gaming console that supports the USB connection. Uh, so that's your PlayStations, Xboxes. I think Nintendo Switch has the USB on it. You can plug this into your PC as well. So uh, versatile all around for devices that take that USB cable. Uh, uh, I mean, USB adapter. Now, the cable is a nice braided cable. I can never, never, there you go. Look at, look at the texture on that cable. This is a nice braided cable that just adds another layer of aesthetic and, and, and a quality feel to the EXA E1000s. Now, like I said a moment ago, the E1000s here that I'm wearing are 7.1 simulated surround. And that's really fun um, for a full bodied audio experience. In the cord, you're going to get a branded uh, inline volume control. And not only does that control your volume, but it also has a switch to mute your microphone. I do not believe that Exit E1000s feature the up to mute 
I don't think it's up to mute with exit E1000. I'm not sure. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it about the hardware side of things. And then inside the, uh, these headphones are also RGB. So the white, the white, sorry, let me see what happens if I plug these into my laptop. No, I don't have an extra USB cable right now. Anyway, I'll demo these on another show, but, uh, the, the EXA brand, the EXA logo and all that white bezel around the outside of the logo, like AKA here. Okay. That's all RGB. It looks exactly like these lights. It looks very exactly like these lights, but slow. Slow rainbow chaser. And also the EXA logo lights up RGB as well. These are really nice headphones that have a lot of uh, cushion on the headband as well as the uh, as well as the um, as the cups themselves. I like the aesthetic of the cups, how they chose black for the cup, pretty standard but put that white accent on it. And that's the same material as the cup itself. Yeah. These fit nice. They isolate a lot of noise. They fit good. And today they're 15% off. They're on sale for $33 and 99 cents. And like I just said, that's 15% off of their traditional 39 99 MSRP. You got the mic, you got the braided cable, you got the affordable price. Uh, you got the 7.1, surround sound with 50 millimeter drivers if you're looking for a nice set of headphones for yourself or uh like maybe i don't know about last minute christmas gifts now that it's like a couple days away from christmas so i wouldn't order these expecting to get a christmas gift but maybe maybe if they're on prime you could i don't know i don't know but uh yeah these are available today for 34 dollars. so uh heads up on this get into the uh Get into the store now, the the EXA store, by clicking through our carousel and uh, and learn more about the E one thousands and a whole a whole lineup of um, a whole lineup of headphones that I don't even have here to show you today. Okay, let's move on now from the EXA E one thousands and talk about the EXA E nine hundreds. Now these are going to be almost the exact opposite of the E one thousands I'm holding here. These are the E900s. Oh, look, it comes with a Velcro cable management system for the E1000s. It just fell off my, my thing. I'll put it back on later. The E900s are different from the E1000s in the sense that these are not simulated 7.1 surround sound, but actually they are stereo, okay? Now, uh, I don't have it in the box, but like I said, the E900s come with the same cinchable uh, black pleathery plastic. Uh, I don't, it's not plastic or whatever, but comes with the same case comes with the same case okay these come in purple and if you're interested to know more about the uh color ways that the e900s are offered in you got to see it to believe it but i'll tell you they come in purple red and green options and these feel really good these feel like they don't have offer as much of like a a noise isolation uh, feature as the E1000s. They're just a little bit lighter on my ears, but they still have great cups that completely encapsulate my entire earlobe. And these are loud too. Now, unlike the E1000s that feature a braided cable, these have more of like a rubbery kind of just standard wire coating uh, for the for the uh, for the cable. Okay, but it also offers you that standard three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which is another feature that sets these apart completely from the E1000s. Now, similar features are they do have inline volume control and microphone um, muting switch. And that's cool. Cable management Velcro, different colors, stereo, super loud, three and a half millimeter. Oh, it's got the microphone. It's got the microphone in it. Now, one thing that while I'm putting this, this proprietary microphone into this headset that you should know is one thing that is similar, one thing that is similar between the E1000s and the E900s, they both feature 50 millimeter drivers in the cups, okay? So yeah, so that's this and that's that and doot, 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 okay? This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, this is what I'm saying though about the E900s, really nice headset, comes in a variety of colors. Stereo headset, positionable microphone that you just move like a little gooseneck. It doesn't flip up like the E1000s. So almost the opposite of the E1000s in every way, with the exception of those uh, stereo headsets. And now real quick, uh, I don't have this product, but I know that Exa makes a headphone stand, okay? 
and it's just a little stand to hang your headphones on, but it also has a little sound card built into it. And so you can uh, hang your headphones and protect them from laying them down. And uh, even if you have a stereo headset like the Exa E900s with this stand that has this sound card built into it, you can plug your head, any headphones. It doesn't have to be these E900s. I wish I had this product, but I don't right now. And I'm saying that with the headphone stand, it is a sound card that also offers simulated 7.1 surround sound uh, technology, which I think might be the same or on par to the ones that are in the E1000s. So you can pretty much convert any stereo headset uh, into simulated 7.1 surround um, with that device. And there's a lot of similar devices, but Exa makes one that goes really good with their headphones. And boom, that's it. Today, the Exa E900 PC gaming headphones are available for $35.99. Okay, let's take a look at the next product here, and that's going to be the uh, air. Uh, it's uh, what is it called? Ereki. Ereki Shen. Where's the device? Okay. Here's the Ereki Shen Beat Boom wireless speaker. This thing is fun, y'all. I had this thing. Um, I had this thing hooked up to my PC when I changed all my PC stuff around because I had these huge speakers. And I decided I didn't want them anymore, but I had no acceptable replacement for small form factor speakers. So I just grabbed this Areki Shen and I plugged it into the uh, PC and it's been pretty good. But uh, let's turn this thing on. When you do, you get a couple of different lighting options with it. And basically you're going to get your accent lighting, uh, your speaker lighting, and then both at the same time so or off. So we can turn the lighting off. And then we can turn the lighting on. Uh, let's see. Can we connect this really easily? Let's hold our power button. And then let's go to, how do we go to settings on this thing? Settings, Bluetooth, refresh. I don't know. Oh, maybe I turned it off. Oh, there it is. Beat boom. Awesome. Okay, let's go back. And then can we double click this for previously open stuff? Yes. Is this just going to play? Awesome. Okay, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see how loud this goes. Is that loud? Is this loud? It's not too bad. I gotta get a better audio track to play through this to really feature the, the sounds of these different speakers. I just know how to get some. Okay, so yo, I don't know how loud it is, but yelling over it to get the lights. So look, we just got the speakers lit up, and then we can press it again and light up only the accent lighting, and then press it again and have both the, the speaker lighting and the accent lighting. And obviously, both lights are the best option. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn this down. So you have the ability to control the volume from this. You can play pause from this power and cycle through the different light options. Now, what's awesome about the Areki Shen Beat Boom wireless speaker, okay, is that uh, is that um, it offers 24 hours of playback time. It's IP7 weather resistant. So you can, again, get this one wet or take it in the shower. It offers those three LED modes we were talking about. With 90 decibels, it's saying, of clear sound, Bluetooth 5.3. You have wireless dual pairing, so I think you can control, you can put two phones on this at the same time. It remembers your settings and it offers you 25 watts of powerful bass sound, okay? So this is the Areki wireless speaker, uh, I guess, model F10. And it, it comes in a couple different colors, too. Look at the box, red, yellow, blue, green, green, black, pink. So it comes in a medley of colors. I got the black one, okay? Today, the Arekishen, oh, the speak, the, the music's done? Okay, thank you. 
Uh, today, the Areki Shen wireless beat boom speed uh, beat boom wireless speaker is available for. I don't know because I left my app. Let me jump back in here and tell you that it is $29.98, so $30 for this bad boy, and that's 50% off of its regular $60 MSRP. And one other thing before I put this bad boy away, you do get to peel back that weather-resistant uh, rubber um, stopper and show what do we see. We got a USB-C. Sorry, it's difficult to pull it out. I don't want to pull too hard and damage the rubber uh, piece, but there you go. We got a USB-C charging in as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack in. Uh, so even if you don't have a Bluetooth connection, you can still hardline something to this. And that's exactly what I did. I had this hardline to my PC using it as a computer speaker. I need new computer speakers, y'all, big time. The ones I have are way too big. Okay, 30 bucks for this. That's 50% off. Um, Definitely something that is worth uh, your consideration. Click through the carousel and learn more about the Areki Shen wireless beat boom, beat boom wireless speaker today. And then it like auto offs after a few minutes. If you don't touch it, it'll auto off. Uh, it doesn't auto off if you don't touch it. It auto offs if you uh, if it doesn't receive a signal for a while. Okay, let's talk about the eMeet 1080p wireless webcam. It's a really quick one. I got it right down here. And let's just immediate. Oh, well, before we switch over to it, we'll look at it. This is the eMeet wireless te te cam. This is what it is. Under my fist is just my display tripod. And isn't that great? It has a quarter inch on the bottom to stick a standard tripod in here. You can bend it back and mount it to any monitor. It's got a big, big grip on the front. That claw and that back end uh, is all, all like a nice... Uh, uh, tech, not textured, but like kind of like um, not sticky, but grippy, grippy kind of uh, texture on there. Okay, so when I got this, it came with the privacy cover, and the privacy cover was just a piece of plastic that had adhesion on it. So I had to actually peel the adhesive off and stick it on between the two screws myself in order to get my privacy cover to function and the functions just like that now because it's so wide i think that it does have speakers and a microphone in it um let's see let's see let's turn this on right now this one boom okay let's see if it has a microphone Oh, it does. So this now should be everything broadcasting from this webcam that I'm holding in my hand, <laughs> a.k.a. the E-Meet, uh, uh, what is it, it's 960? It's the 960. Let me, oh, let's look at the ceiling for a second. Oh, no, it's a tripod. It's a tripod. We got tripods. We got tripods, bro. Here we go. Here. Let's get down with it okay the emeet smart cam c960 is a 1080p webcam how's the microphone sound how's the microphone sound how's the microphone sound on the emeet c960 we're doing the entire show from this webcam right now uh look the sensor's nice it picks up the colors very well behind me on the lights you can you can see all the individual colors i love that uh, it looks a little dark, even though I'm very well lit. It does look a little bit dark. And uh, let's uh, stand up. <laughs> stand up. How's that microphone sound, though, on this device here? Uh, fixed focus, full HD, 1080p webcam. It's pretty straightforward kind of device out of the box. It looks like it's like another great thing. Imagine if I had this one like way up, way up high, looking down on everything. I want to set up my whole house like a studio and I want to put cameras in the kitchen and I want to have cameras that look down over the stove and I want ones that look at the desk and maybe like one in the camera, you know, one of those like voyeuristic ones that like when you, they like break the fourth wall and you can see everything around you, like the whole set and everything. 
Uh, I'd like that. I'd like cameras that are just permanently mounted and then put bright lights all over the place so that no matter what room I'm in, you ever see the Polly Shore? You guys watch Polly Shore do his podcast? I know that that's kind of like a rare get. Not too many people watch that one, but he does that. He has uh, cameras set up all over the place in all different rooms of his apartment, and uh, and it's a really fun kind of broadcast that he makes there. But yo, this is going to be the E-Meet, uh C960 USB webcam. Fixed focus. You can put your little thing down, but it don't mean it does. It doesn't do anything. Look, you know what I'm saying. So it does black it out. It does black it out. So it does offer you a, a layer of privacy protection. But this is not going to put that camera to sleep or mute its microphones. Today, the eMeet 1080p webcam is available for $33.99. That's 15% off from its $39.99 MSRP. Let's uh, switch back to the audio first and then to the camera. My Yeti. Yo, yo. Okay. I'm sure y'all can hear me on the Yeti. And now let's switch back to the OBSBOT. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So put this down here like that. And that's it. That's it. That's all I want to tell you about that. Yeah. So, and it has a 5% off coupon. Thank you, Rover. <clears throat> Man, I can't stop drinking water today. Okay. What time is it? It's seven o'clock and we got one two, three, four. Oh man, I only got one physical product and three pages left. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk about this. Keep smile. This is like a 30 second thing. Honestly, keep smile makes a hundred feet of RGB light that you can wrap around your entire house. Like I have here, but these are not keep smile lights that are installed. I actually have my keep smile lights in this box. Now, when you buy a hundred feet of lights today for $19 and 98 cents, this still is degassing. It's got a strong smell of plastic. You get a big remote. You're going to be able to control all of your colors as well as different fade options and whatnot and have complete control over your lights with this remote control. Now, like I was saying, you don't get a 100-foot roll. You get two 50-foot rolls, okay? And they're going to be controlled from a squid, okay? And so you're going to want to have like a center point. You're going to have one of – got to be careful not to bend these all up and whatnot. But uh, yeah, you're going to want to have a center point and be careful, uh, be careful mucking about with these boys in the center here where my hands aren't. Uh, I got to be careful with that. I don't want to damage these. So yeah, really easy. There's not much to see here. I'm not plugging these in today because, uh, you know, whatever. And you can, you can control them with an app. They have the microphone mode and all the different stuff that you could want to have a really fun experience with LEDs. And if you don't have like, uh, I would say this, I would say if you don't have like a big budget for LEDs, 20 bucks for a hundred feet, that they're, they're getting robbed. They must be losing money on this when it's $20. They must be losing money on this when it's $20 for 100 feet. Now you're going to get 30, I believe, uh, LEDs per meter, 30 LEDs per meter. I believe that's the case with these Keep Smile LED lights, uh, music control, memory function, energy saving lights, adjustable brightness, safe to use, has an app and have an energy rating of A plus on a scale of A plus plus to E. And that's it. They're just awesome LED strip lights. They do have the tacky on the back, the sticky on the back, so you can just pop, pop them up on the wall uh, as you need to or put them in the diffusers if that's what you want to do. I'm really interested in diffusers myself, but I'm extremely cheap and I don't want to buy all of those diffusers to do the entire perimeter of my interior home, even leading into the back of the house. So, uh, and the diffusers bring down the brightness a little bit and at 30 LEDs, like these are 30 LEDs per meter as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, the Keep Smile LED strip lights are available today, not on sale for 20 bucks. Check this out. Even not on sale, 20 bucks is a great deal. And I'm pretty sure I bought these because they were on sale. So keep your heads up about this when you click through the carousel and add it to your cart because eventually I'm sure you're going to get a good deal on this as well. And that is it.
boom, we did all of our physical products just now. And now we just got a couple of uh, product pages to talk about. So uh, let me take two seconds to get that set up for myself. And that just involves putting this down. Yo, now that we're done, the, uh, the big part of the show, I'm turning off the studio lights. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a relief my eyes feel when I get to turn those lights off. Oof. Here we are, everybody. What a nice, dark. I'm not too underlit. <laughs> I guess I do sit back. So what's that? Can I brush my hair on the show, please? Ugh. Okay, we're going to take a look at these product pages here in just a second after I beautify myself in real time. <clears throat> okay, that's good enough, I think. <clears throat> okay, nice lighting. Uh, two more items still close. Do, 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I look fine here like this. This is good. And uh, we'll just give it one of these. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, now I just got to set it up so that we can share the screen and uh, and talk about the products. There's only three product pages, so... There's not too, too much to go on about today. And um, let me just make sure I got this all set up right. Just give me one more quick second here. Okay, cool. I got everything that I need. So let's share a screen. With audio. That's good. Okay, let's take a look at these products and do this giveaway. Okay, right now we're going to take a look at the uh, Life Pro Sonic LX professional massager gun. And this is going to be presented to us by uh, our friend James. So let's full screen it. And look at him. Look at him. Hold on. Look at James. You do can anybody look before we play the video? Can anybody guess what the first word of James mouth is going to be in, <laughs> in this video? I know very well what the word is going to be, and I have not seen this video. I think you all have a pretty good idea. Greta, thank you for Hank. Griata? It's not, is it Greta? I wouldn't expect the A in the middle. Yeah, Jennifer Lou, James here. You got it. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Let's watch James. Uh, this one. Uh, okay, mute mic. James here. Today we're taking a look at the Life Pro Sonic LX massage gun. That's right. The massage gun. Now, this one's kind of cool, guys. This has nine speeds, ten attachments. Uh, it comes in three colors, guys: uh, blue, red, and black. Inside this box, you're going to be greeted with some stuff, including user manuals, thank you cards, and all of that. Now, I've actually opened this up. You're going to be greeted with this device just up, like this. Greta, thanks carrying. for coming and hanging out this with us. I'm so so keep it all in just one now. place. Yo, if now, inside you're here, here is a nice button. If you uh, followed and I missed it, thank you for following. And check it up, out the uh, gift the card giveaway. The Enter the gift card giveaway that we're doing. Uh, head uh, over to shoppingdragons.com slash in and then uh, come back here. We're going to be doing a, a roll call, now, which is happening you now. Four hours of usage Rover put all the information. Charge. Look, even personalized with your name. Be greeted with this Click USB follow to and then go to shoppingdragons.com. Uh, good luck that. on $5 gonna, guys, gift card. i show you this. So inside here you have the 10 heads. Inside these heads you have a whole bunch of cool stuff. And we're going to kind of get to these. Uh, first you have this nice little uh, bullet foam style head you then have a shovel widget? head guys uh you then have two of the round ba large balls uh right here guys two different styles of those uh you then have the spinal hook right 
Uh, you then also have this cool absorber. It's like a rubber bouncy absorber tip. So that's cool. You then have this other really cool tip right here. This is just a flat paddle uh, with that. You then have some other cool tops. You have this full on metal flat uh, cone. Uh, this is really good for massaging and stimulating uh, the, the muscles. You then also have a metal cone or bullet style cone. But then you're greeted with one that you guys aren't expecting and probably didn't know this could happen. This one right here, this flat tip style. You see it's pink in color. There's a reason for that. This is rechargeable. This is heated. Uh, on the bottom, this is where you'll plug in your USB-C cable right Yo, there. That's cool. uh, and it also has a power button right here. And I'm going to actually hold this down until it comes on. And you guys will see that it actually flashed green. I'm going to do that again. Let's make sure we get this. There we go. It's green, then red. So we are now on. It's going to start heating up. Now, the device. The device does weigh a little bit. It is blue in coloration. Remember, I said there are several colors, red, blue, and black. On this, guys, you have your on and off on the bottom. You'll flip it. The side will light up, and you guys see it's already on. We're going to shut it off. There is your zero level. Now you can go to level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, level seven, level eight, and level nine. Max level. It also has a battery indication okay, up there and demo. lighting. Now it's moving so much that you can actually tell that it's actually like you can see almost through my skin and that. Now this feels good. Now I'm gonna top it off, shut it off. I want to feel this just like that. That's cool. Pop this back off. Let's hit the button on the back. Let's go back and we're going to back this off to one. Now watch this. That's one, right? There's two. There's three. And it just keeps going, guys. This is great. This massage this, gun is great. awesome. And I love Man, my throat has got like a thing in it. It's making me cough a lot right now. Thank you, James, for the review of the Sonic. Uh, man, I'm all over the place with my mouse and stuff. Okay. Thank you, James, so very kindly for that review of the uh, Sonic, um, <clears throat> the Life Pro Sonic LX Professional Massager Gun. Yeah, uh, you threw me, you hit me with the curveball, James. I definitely did not expect that there would be a heated attachment that charges via USB-C. We're literally living in the future, people, okay? <laughs> We're literally living in the future. Okay, so that is, like I said, the Life Pro Sonic LX Professional Massager Gun. And today it is 64% off. That is an amazing deal. $97.99 down from its $270 price point. Okay, so definitely, definitely click through the carousel and learn more about the Sonic LX Professional Massager Gun today. Okay, let's move on to the next product here. Hey, what, hey, should I be typing closed? When do I type closed? Um, names, names. If after closed, will not be added. Do I? Okay, so we got two items left. Do I do it after the comfier, or do it? I do it after the mask. Race is closed. Oh, race is closed. All right, I'll type closed also. Um, I'll do it with the fire stick. <laughs> I'll do it with the fire stick. Hold on. Uh, okay, let's do this. And then let's go up. Hey, what's up? Sorry about all that. Uh, I hit the wrong keyboard shortcut. I never rebinded them. I never rebinded my keyboard shortcuts. But hey, let's use this. Let's let's type closed in the chat with the stick. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? Uh oh, I misplaced my remote. Oh, here it is behind the water. Okay, here we go. We're gonna close it. Okay. Let's actually do this. Let's play the comfier. So one of these, 
Oh, I, oh yeah, I'm not presenting. My bad. I'm not presenting because I left the room accidentally. Uh, let's present. And then hide this. And then let's take a look at the comfier. This is the comfier mini. Okay, I'm going to close it now with, with the fire with stick. Here we go. Head, flat head, U-shaped head, and a small round head which can be used throughout the whole body and provide a deep tissue massage to relieve aching and stiff muscles. Its miniature size makes it very compact and easy to travel with. With this massage gun, you can choose between four different speed levels and this allows you to massage comfortably throughout your whole body on different areas as well as meet the needs of the person. With its 2000 mAh high quality lithium battery, it can last for four to five hours on a single charge. And by incorporating the latest noise reduction technology, this massage gun doesn't make sound louder than 44 decibels. With this spheroidal head, you can massage the neck, spine, thighs. The flat head is great for using in most parts of the body just to relax and shape the muscle. The U head is awesome for using around the spine and around the Achilles heel. And the small round head is great also for around the spine and palms and just anywhere on the body. With its compact design, you can use it anywhere, which makes us an awesome massage gun to have while providing precision in the areas that you most need it. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Astro. Oh, yeah, we're over in this mode. Hold on. also not what i want <laughs> that's okay I, you know what i didn't have a sit down i didn't have a sit down preset today so <clears throat> boom oh no we got to be up for when we sit back okay yo thank you astro for that wonderful comfier mini massage uh gun review appreciate that in a big way today this is 48 percent off it's normally 80 dollars today it is 42 dollars okay so Let's uh, let's move on to the last product here, and Rover's definitely smashing out that uh, all that information that I need. So since he's doing it efficiently, uh, we'll just do the last thing, and then we'll just take time. I won't do the list until after I'm done the last product. So the last product that I want to show you here is going to be the Life Pro LED face mask, and uh, this is going to be for like changing your mood. I think let's let's take a look together and uh, see because uh, this looks out of control. This is the Life Pro LED Light Therapy Face Mask. It's super lightweight being that it only weighs 2.8 ounces and it fits the entire face. It's 8.3 inches long, 6.5 inches wide, and 4.9 inches tall. Light therapy helps to improve blood flow and collagen production. It helps to calm and tighten the skin, improve pigmentation, reduce fine lines, and create a more smooth appearance as it helps to improve tissue metabolism. What's great is that this LED mask incorporates light irradiation technology and it is safe to use and you can use it daily. With 15 to 20 minutes of use every day, you can start to see results in as little as two to three weeks. It helps to improve the skin's appearance and it is comfortable to wear and reusable. It works great in conjunction with other skincare products to help improve its effectiveness. It has three different LED colors. The blue helps to penetrate pores for a smooth skin. The amber color helps to soften irritated skin. And the red helps to reduce lines and wrinkles. Overall, I really like the design of this mask. Even the nose area is really well done where it doesn't feel heavy on the face. And it feels as light as a pair of glasses. As well as where the eyes are, there are no lights or obstructing design. So you can continue to relax, watch TV, or work on projects while you are wearing this mask. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching.
Thank you, Astro, for that wonderful thing. Yo, this just looks like a mask that I would wear to a rave and, like, sweat in it a lot. You know what I mean? But uh, light therapy, light therapy masks are the real deal. And you can uh, learn more about yours. Uh, you can learn more about them by clicking through the carousel and uh, and and educating yourself in 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 regard to the life pro led light therapy face mask. Okay. So, uh, do that. Enjoy what you, uh, enjoy your face longer, <laughs> enjoy your face longer with the light therapy face mask by light pro. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. We did it. Okay. Let's pull out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we did it, man. We did the whole show. It's done. We did it in, what is it? 20 after it's 20 after that's not bad. It's not bad pretty good time so we're just gonna do the gift card giveaway now oh i gotta open up a uh i gotta open up uh the stream myself i've got a i don't have a shopping dragon stream open on my on my pc so i'll do that now and then uh i'll grab this list we got a list that starts with rover and ends in boss and butterfly Vicky E, my Discord is kind of like a, a not a good place. It's it's a place that is not good. It's not a it, it's it's terrible. So I, I don't invite people to it. Maybe I should sign up a different one. Maybe I should sign. Maybe I should get like a Shopping Dragons sub Discord on the on the Dragon Blogger Discord for stuff. But uh, yeah, my personal Discord is an awful place. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do I want to do here? I want to open a notepad document and share my screen with you all. So let's, uh, let's do that. We'll do this and this. Shebang. Yes. And then one of these. There we go. Yeah. Look, I got it already highlighted. So let's paste it here and make it bigger. Boom. Okay, let's read these names. We got Rover and Becky and Alan DeBay and Angelica Villarreal, Samantha Guevara, Gizmo Carroll, Seabass. Thanks again, Seabass, for the heads up. Appreciate that. Uh, Jan Yu, Robin Luker, Kmart Kelly, as well as Lydia C., Shay Lewis, Randy Dresden, uh, Lori Lynn, Cool Shopper, Bart, Margaret, Island Girl. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, Margaret, as well as Island Girl, as well as Ed S. and Jennifer Lude, including Vicky E., Flying Possum, Zendaya, Hefe, Wiley S., Stargazer right over here, and then Leslie Sheffield, Evans, Greta Hunter, and Boston Butterfly. And at the bottom of my list, I've got two shuffles and 50 seconds. So uh, I see Cody says, you missed me. And so uh, it's all in the hands of Rover to make that decision. I paid no attention to roll call today. So I'll wait a minute to see what Rover says about that. And then, uh, and then we're going to move on. <clears throat> but uh, I'll add the names to the list now. And then if, and then if, uh, if he says to add you, then I will. Okay. But we're going to grab a list that ends currently in Boston Butterfly and starts with Rover. Uh, so we'll copy that and then let's move over to our clown race here and we're going to edit this list of names. So we'll select these names and remove them and paste this. And as you can see, I've got a list that starts with Rover and ends in Boston butterfly. That's 30 names. I hate that widget so much. And, uh, Cody signing up online is very important to go to the form and do that. I'm, I'm thankful that you did. And then also for the race here, where's my camera? Let me cut to my camera. Okay. <clears throat> thank you so much for going to the forum and filling it out. You know, I'm doing my thing and then you've been around. So, you know, Justin, right. And Justin is the one who actually administers the gift card. I just run the race for it. So, well, I'm thankful that you went and filled out the form. We also want you to be here so that we can partake in the race. And then to make sure that the people are here, we do the traditional roll call. Okay. So the roll call today, I think that it was hot cocoa. I know that USS Rover was here handling all of that. And so, uh, so yeah, I don't, I, it doesn't look like he made any reply in regard to this. So I, I don't think that you had the 
opportunity to make it today. Oh, you didn't see the roll call? Okay. Yeah, every time. So, okay. Okay, no problem. So, check it out, Cody Lake, okay? Um, yeah, we do the roll call when it's open, exactly like Angelica says. And then also, um, if you've already went and did the form now, like you said you did, you don't have to ever go back and do the form again. Now we have your email on file. You know what I'm saying? So when you, when, if you win here, I just got to reach out to Justin and let him know that you won. And then he can, and then he can hit you up uh, with that gift card. Okay. So, so yeah, we do the roll calls. We start them at random times and then we end them closer to the end of the show. And uh, yeah, it's always at the end of the show. We're going to do a $5 gift card. And, uh, and when the time's right, we'll do some product giveaways. We gave some headphones away last month and, um, <clears throat> we're going through our A-list application right now. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll talk about that more in a minute. Let's get into the giveaway. I'm sorry you didn't get the opportunity to make it today, but let me tell you, okay, Cody here on clown live, uh, here on the shopping dragons channel, every, every show that I do, every clown live has at least one $5 Amazon gift card. And it's usually at least one. Sometimes we give out more when the time is appropriate, okay? But today we're gonna do one and we're gonna do it right now. So let me let me switch back over to uh, to this list here. And as you can see, the list that started with Rover and ended with uh, Boss and Butterfly is here. So let's hit done. We got 30 people in the list today and we're gonna do 50 seconds on the clock. And then we're gonna shuffle this twice, uh, shuffle once, shuffle twice. And then let's full screen this. And that's it. <clears throat> let's let's race. Yo, good luck everybody today. And thank you for coming out and supporting me here on Clown Live, Amazon Live Shopping Experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Justin, thank you for giving me this opportunity to be out here. Have such a good time. Oh, didn't you always say that the music was mad loud? Let's turn the music down. Isn't the music always mad loud and droning out my voice? Turn the music down. Uh, yeah, Justin, thank you for the opportunity that you've given me to come out here and be a part of this great team, Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And to, uh, man, we massively grew the show. We went from, uh, we went from like 1,200 followers to 2,200 followers in just about two months, I'd say. So, oh, two seconds left. Who's going to win? It's going to be Seabass. Heads up, Seabass. You just won a $5 Amazon gift card. Did you, did you, uh, fill out the form, Seabass? It's okay if you didn't. Go fill it out now. It never stops, okay? And Justin's out of the house right now, so it buys you a little bit of time to uh to get it filled out if you haven't congratulations oh do they have to be in the chat do they have to be in the chat to claim because everybody's always in the chat so do we see Seabass in the chat right now to claim because i think that's important right i think that's important that they should be here to claim i think that's important yes yeah rover says yes let me check for myself as well okay Signed up. Okay, good. Go, go. Oh, yes, they should be here, you're saying? Um, okay, well, it's been a lot of time that we think we should be. Oh, Seabass here. Thanks. Hey, congratulations again, Seabass. Uh, thank you again to you as well for uh, not only supporting the channel, but by giving me that great heads up line today. I'm definitely, definitely going to be folding that into the vernacular that I use on the show. So I appreciate that in a major way. So here now, let me stop the show. Let me stop this music. Let me stop this music. Let me uh, full screen myself here real quick. And then we're going to jump over to Discord and reach out to Justin. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay. Sorry about that other thing. Okay. Um, uh, sorry about that. My bad. Uh, didn't see these messages. Uh, okay. Uh, C Bass is uh, Wednesday show winner. Five dollars. 
Okay, boom. Okay, let's uh, minimize Discord, and then let's jump back to the race here and see who placed where, and then we're done here for the day. We are done here for the day. So, Seabass, congratulations again on coming in first place. Jennifer Lude in second, Lydia in third, and then here's everybody else's placings. Go ahead and take a fun look. Cool Shopper seventh. Rover, you came in eighth place today. Good luck next time, and thank you for your help today, friend. Uh, Gizmo Carol in 11th place, Stargazer in 13th, Kmart Kelly in 17th place. That's my lucky number, 17. Becky, 1970 in 18th place, Alan DeBay in 21st, Greta Hunter in 22nd. Greta, don't be deterred. Come back again tomorrow. We're going to do another gift card. There's a lot of opportunities to win here on Clown Live. Evans in 25th, Randy in 27th, and we got Boston Butterfly leading up the pack in 30th place today, but hey. You know what? We can't be winners every day, but I sure feel like we are when we're on Amazon Live. So anyway, I think that is the show. Thank you, everybody, for joining me here on this episode of Clown Live. I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with another show for you. Uh, we're going to talk about some more products. And uh, and that's it. That's where we're at with it. So I'm going to end this stream, and I'm going to see you all. Uh, oh, uh uh our merc r-m-e-r-c thank you so much for following we're going to do another show tomorrow at 5 p.m and uh yeah that's it so uh i'm going to end the stream i'll see you guys in the chats and i'll see you here like i just said tomorrow at five o'clock bye everybody